Yeah. Hey guys, I'm going back to my roots in this session. I'm using a 12 foot pound air rifle. I'm actually using my Wolverine R177. I'm on a farm here, it's got this dried up midi, and we have magpies and rats coming in feeding. So I thought on this nice sunny afternoon, I'd get my spotter and best mate, and I'd sit in this little spot that looks like some out of Southeast Asia, and see if I can reduce some numbers. Also on this farm we have curlews, and lapwings, and other rare nesting birds. So this is a reason to control the magpies. This midi is 40 yards long. So I'll first of all check my scope at 35 yards. As you can see, it's absolutely spot on. So when I'll try it at 40 yards. And that too is perfect. So I'm all set ready now. This first magpie goes down brilliant. They're actually about 37 yards. The second magpie just flies off to the left. So I have to feed my rifle through these railings. I can kind of shoot it freehand, but I've got leaves and all sorts blowing at the end of my scope, so it makes it hard work. But he goes down nice and clean. Every time I take these awkward shots, I always think back to when I was younger and I used to use a BSA meteor. And then I progressed to an HW80. And although back then them air rifles, they were good, and I used to control a lot of vermin with them. You know, compared to today's modern PCP air rifles, it does kind of make me laugh because this Wolverine R, every time I shoot it, it still amazes me with its accuracy. You could see there that pellet with perfect shot placement. But this magpie flies about 10 feet and then just drops stone dead. I trained Jack as a pigeon dog 10 years ago. He spent years in a pigeon hide, sat with me. So he's kind of used to it. Now we start seeing rat activity, but they are very fidgety, so I've got to be fast. Another one here, but they just won't keep still. Try the old squeak here. It always seems to work. This rat is dead by the way, with a clean headshot, this is just nerves. More rats are coming out. I think this rat here are playing some kind of game. They're up and down, up and down.
Good at 40 yards. Wolverine knocks him straight down. This is another clean kill. Them that sometimes think they're suffering. It's just nerves. I'm quite pleased with that shot because the wind's getting up. Nice friendly face here. Old Robin Redbreast. I don't mind Purse of the Pigeon either. He's doing no harm here. I was glad to see this rat go down because I didn't film it all but I've been literally watching this rat for 15 minutes. But anyway he did go down. Another rat comes out here, he just runs to the left and I have to feed my rifle again through the railings. Kind of shoot it freehand. He's only about 30 yards. He goes down too, nice and clean. They miss that rat. Not like me. <laughs> I thought this were a rat, but it were a young female blackbird. This was the last rat of the day. Only about 25 yards, it went down nice and clean. I'm out with Jack this day, just walking through some woods. I've got my Wolverine R, and I'm after squirrels. And I've just seen one on this farm track. So I kneel down and get in position. He's about 35 yards. He goes down nice and clean. I was just about to send Jack for this squirrel and I see another, about another 30 yard down the road. So I get in position quickly. Same thing again really. I lean on a tree and take the shot. I think Jack's getting a bit impatient now. Need to goes down with a nice headshot.
So I'll take Jack now and let him have a nice retrieve. It's not too far, but it keeps him happy. He's still a bit stiff these days, but he does okay. That's it really, that's the second squirrel. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. In the next one, I should be going from 40 yards, maybe out to 500. <laughs>